What's up, bro? That's all the fuck I gotta say. Try to go back in the past. You will fuck up what you gonna do next. Ten, two, 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 one. All right, y'all. We are back here for another episode of the Tempo Show, man. Hey, look, we got one of DC's hottest promoters up in the building. Entrepreneur. The man does anything and everything. You know what I'm saying? Like, shout out to my man Elway in the building, man. What's going on, bro? Hey, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up, Tempo? Man? What's good? What's good? What's good? Cooler, what's good? man. Hey, look, we was we was been supposed to do this shit. You know, long what I mean? time, long time. Yeah, no, long time. I guess everything happened for a reason, even in, down to the time. I don't believe nothing happened by accident. So, you yeah. know what I'm saying? It was meant to happen today. You know man, what I'm saying? Man, that's lit. That's yeah. lit. You know what I'm saying? Hey, look. You know, and I got to uh, send a shout out to you, man. When it comes to putting, you know, to being about, you know what I'm saying, putting up the city and putting local artists on and, and you know, whoever, you know what I'm saying, not even just artists. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah. Just, just local motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying, trying to do something, you know what I'm saying? Like, Facts. You've been doing that shit for a while, man. When did you get started on all this? All right, so check this out. First and foremost, man, shout out my brother Sleep. Shout out James, Mike. AJ, everybody, the whole Keys to the City team, you know what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying? Ali, I ain't going to say where we at, but the Keys to the City concept started right in this neighborhood right here. But mm-hmm. I bullshit you not, like, three in the morning, we out doing what we was doing at that time, and it was just an idea. Um, nigga looked at me crazy at first and then thought about it, and then that's where it started. Shortly thereafter, this was, like, around 2006, God, that was back you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah. 2006 and um, 2007, uh, I went to, I caught a fair case 2008. I was on bond until the, I was on bond until like October okay, of 2008. Okay, okay. I went to jail. Keys to the city kept moving. They did their shows with Nicki Minaj while I was in jail. Frenchy, mm-hmm. uh, they done brought Walker Flocker through the, you know what I'm saying? Like these are things that, you know, the, the the company as a whole, you know, spearheaded by sleep, you know what I'm saying, and everybody else. It's not just me and him. It's a lot of people behind the scenes everybody don't get to see. But, you know what I'm saying, that's how I started, you know what I'm saying. And then what happened was I came home, and him being a real nigga that he is, that's why to this day forever that's my family, you know what I'm saying. Like, mm-hmm. you know, blood don't necessarily, you know what I'm saying, it might make somebody my relative, you know what I'm saying, but it don't, it don't make them a – family so uh boom came home you know what i'm saying and i was in a halfway house i didn't know what the fuck i was gonna do uh had to find a job bullshit and um once i got out the halfway house then i could you know i had no curfew no more and um i was just trying to you know help the team because i'm like all right well i don't really know no artists well i thought i didn't at the time I'm like Man, i don't know no artists i don't know how to really contribute you know what i'm saying so uh, slowly but surely, I just reached back the opposite way. I went back to niggas that I met when I was in jail, you know what I'm saying? The good men that I was fucking with in there. And then, oddly enough, they had relationships like my nigga Trey and certain people. They, they homies was rapping, you know what I'm saying? And that's how I started. I started doing it like that. And then next thing you know, we just kept moving, 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 moving. Yeah. And then it was like, it got to a point where it was like, all right, what can we do outside of the music? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. How can we create opportunities for... Uh, comedians, clothing designers, you know, people like yourself who do podcasts or uh, internet radio shows. We didn't really open up the doors for a lot of motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying? So that's how it started. (laughs) Yeah, I mean, like, I I remember, um, like, really one of the first, like, let's say, outside of just doing the podcast little shows I did was with you. You know what I'm saying? Down there uh, at Dynamic and shit, you know what I'm saying? Straight up. Really lit, man. That was where I met... um, <clears throat> a couple of my guests actually like i met um 
uh, I met uh, well, I met Bumpway. You know what I'm saying? I met um, Charisma. I met uh, shout out Charisma G, man. Yeah, man, she be doing her thing too. Dope artist, man. Yeah, she is though. She a really good person too. Sure um, is. You know what I'm saying? Ariel Everless. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, shout Pooh, out. Be all them. Yeah, yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? yeah. So, you know, it was it was definitely lit. Oh yeah, what was I forgot? Oh man. The, uh, it's like a girl group too, man. Oh, like, PMG. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah shout yeah, out, yeah, gang, yeah, man. Yeah, PMG, like, man. They got some energy for that. You know what I'm saying? That shit real, man. Uh, like, I, one thing I was wondering, like, all right, so, and I don't think a lot of people even know about how to promote a game works. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, it's 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 hard because like I don't even really see myself as just a promoter, but I mean, mm -hmm. I guess I gotta wear that hat. It's one of many hats that right. you gotta wear when you put together events. And I think a lot of people, you know what I'm saying? It, it's some niggas, particularly, you know what I'm saying, that they be ungrateful for certain opportunities that you provide because they don't know how hard it is. You literally, me and you walk in the club right now, bro. We leave out of here. You drive. You ride with me. Right. We pull up to a club and say, hey, we want to do an open mic showcase. You want to right. know what the owner going to say to us? No, nah, I don't want to do no showcases. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, it's, it's got to the point where the rap scene is, 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 is dominant right now yeah. because it's, it's replaced how, what Go-Go used to be. Right. You know what right, I'm saying? Right, right, right. But right. it's not as lucrative for a club owner. Because niggas will come and they don't understand the concept of being in the club. And that's not, some people are just green to it. And some people just intentionally being skinny. You feel <laughs> what I'm saying? Because when you're not no bull, I'm, I'm being real right now. I ain't holding, I'm not holding no punches, man. Fuck that shit. Because it's, if I own a club, right? All right? You come to me and say, I want to do a showcase. The number one thing I'm worried about where my money come from is this liquor behind the bar. I paid 150K for my liquor license. I got to pay these bartenders. Right. You feel what I'm saying? I right. have to pay to keep my lights on. This shit is a business. Exactly. And, and, and niggas will literally stand outside the club, drink, smoke all night. You feel what I'm saying? They got their drink in the car. They chiefing all night outside. They come inside. They rap. And they roll the fuck out. And they ain't buy not one drink. They ain't tip the bartender. They ain't do... You know what I'm saying? Nothing. Yeah, yeah. And that makes it harder for us because now we got to bounce around from this place. Anybody here in this live is stamp how many different spots... We didn't had to go with the showcases because not necessarily it was somebody fault every single time. Sometimes other circumstances, but a lot of times it be because if we can't generate the numbers for the venue, then how are we gonna keep the venue? That's and that's I think that's a real important part. That's why I'm glad you kind of elaborated on that because I I think that you know me being a little bit older, like I'm 31, you know what I'm saying, and I kind of you know jumped into the media, whatever you want to call it, shit, a little bit late in the game, but. I kind of understood that, look, like, I think a lot of the artists, they're younger, and they don't really understand that, you know, most of this is a business. You got to understand, like, for a promoter, he he's not just getting money out the ass, you know what I'm saying? Or it's not just naturally coming to him for no reason, you know what I'm saying? Man. Like, it has to, this is a business transaction, you know let's what I'm saying? Let's talk about it. So it's like, and especially, like, let's, a lot of time you remember, if you're in a showcase, you're showcasing your art. You're not already established to the point where you could be able to negotiate your prices. Facts. So it's like like you're 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 paying for the opportunity. You know what I'm saying? Like and you know like well vendors like myself it's a little bit different but especially if like you're an artist you just you, what you're paying for really is kind of like marketing. You want to be able to showcase your talent. You know what I'm saying? And hopefully because of that people, you know what I'm saying, will hear you and you know what I'm saying, hopefully something sparks from there. But you got to understand that, you know, the nigga ain't just doing it out the goddamn kindness of his heart. If he could, you know what I'm saying? But, he, no. like, niggas got to get bread. And especially if he's going to hold it in the venue, he doesn't. A lot of times people don't understand, like, like with the promoters, it's not like they own the clubs. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody has their own particular section in which they're getting money. Fine. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I can understand, like, you know, I can understand where you come from, especially when it comes to, like, you'll have artists that don't understand how the game works. You know what I'm saying? And then they'll come to you because they had unrealistic expectations of whatever product that they thought was coming out. You know what I'm saying? Facts. You know, so I definitely understood that. Like, so what was what was some of the, I would say, you know, you don't have to name names, but what was, what was some of the biggest conflicts you've had when it comes to dealing with not only artists but just let's say trying to set up parties things of that nature. I I mean the the biggest the biggest con the biggest conflict that I run into is like you is you already kind of mentioned it. It's people expectations 
and what and re, versus reality. You will have an artist, right? You know what I'm saying? That comes one deep. Nobody with them. One deep. They got ten dollars in a dream. All right, and they will come late, whatever, and mm-hmm. then want to know like where the people at. Where your people? Where's your support? The 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 yeah. the that is one of the biggest problems because unlike a lot of other showcases and venues and shit out here that's yeah. going on, we don't say, "I right, look, we need two hundred and fifty dollars for a slot." If we if we charging somebody for a slot, it's literally because we have to cover costs in order to ha- make this event actually happen. Right. We done done clubs up uh, Adams Morgan. This shit ain't cheap. You feel <laughs> what I'm saying? <laughs> like, these people want this, that, and the third, and if yeah. shit don't go right, then we got to cover security, et cetera, et cetera. And it's like, okay, boom, we might put, like, for and that but that particular show, we had Q the Fool, Free uh, Big Don Bino. We had Big Don Bino on there before you had 10 Band Brick. Mm-hmm. We was already on his line. My, my brother, you know what I'm saying, was already, they got their relationship, but it's, that aside... He seen that wave coming before it happened. Mm-hmm. And so we jumped in front of that and said, all right, bet, we're going to do a show. And it's like, all right, bet, we have to charge. A lot of times, I, I can't speak for other promoters. I don't, I don't got nothing to do with what the fuck they got going on. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to speak for this side. And if we say, hey, it's $100 for a slot. At the end of the day, it's times we have charged that and we literally walked away with no money, bro. See, we had enough money yeah. to pay uh. the venue. And if we had a special guest or something and whatever happened where we needed to kick the money out, yeah. and at the end of the night, we might not have nothing. See, and that's and that's the biggest part like about it is that like I I wanted to I wanted to that was really one of my dreams when I was going, or at least what I thought was my dream, you know what I'm saying? Was like to own a club. And I, you know, I do a lot of my research before I do anything, especially with the podcast. And so, you know, in 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 this particular industry, don't it has opportunities to get money, but it's still once you're an entrepreneur, one thing about p- being an entrepreneur is that people don't understand that you're, it's it's just like playing poker. You know what I'm saying? It's a gamble. It's a gamble. You know what I'm saying? You're gambling every time. Gamble. Same thing with real estate and things of that nature. Yeah, 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 yeah. People just think that it's like, that that this shit is just easy and it comes through the no. flow. Like, what it is is you're Fuck gambling no. with your own money. You know what gambling, I'm saying? Not yeah. only that, you're gambling with your own money and and most important, your reputation. Exactly. Because exactly. if if we, we've we had a lot of events, all types of things have happened. Now, some things I can't say because we're on camera, uh-huh. but things that went left, I'll leave it at that, right? And at the end of the day, myself and my partners sleep, Anybody else that's involved, we are the ones that they're looking to when that shit right, go wrong. Right, absolutely. You feel what I'm saying? They not going to, I'm not going to give you up and say, oh, it was so-and-so. I'm right. not cut from that cloth. And I think a lot yeah. of times that hurts me as a businessman because I'm a street nigga at heart. You feel mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So I would never, and I, I'm never going to compromise this. That's something I'm never going to bend on. You feel what I'm saying? But it's been instances where they like, well, somebody need an answer for this. And I'm like, yeah. shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you better yeah. call Ghostbusters. We ain't got nothing for you. But yeah. I mean that 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 it 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 keeps me my integrity intact. But at the mm-hmm. same time, it's like, okay, I don't know what what bridges I'm burning with other club owners. I don't right, know. Right, right, right. I mean, you know. let's be real. A lot of club owners are African. They either yeah. Ethiopian, right, uh, Nigerian. You know what I'm saying? Right. Shout out to the Africans. They have a network. Yeah. They stick together. They put each other in this club game. Yeah, I don't give a fuck true. if it's Bliss. That's African, right? You feel what I'm saying? Almost every club up and down yeah, U Street, almost, African. That's true. And if we want to be technical, you can see they be Ethiopian spots, right? That right. hookah shit is run. I met a dude that's one of the main distributors. He got his own line of hookahs. And he literally went from club to club to club to club and, and cut deals with people for them to buy his hookah. Right. You feel what I'm saying? But that That's go back to what you were saying about entrepreneurs. Like, okay. He gambled with his own money. He, he yeah. gambled with his own money, but he made it work. You feel right. what I'm saying? But we have to support each other. You feel what I'm saying? Like, Absolutely. if he'd have walked in a white person establishment, who's to say that, you know what I'm saying? I'm not making this a race thing, but I'm saying who's to say that they would have accepted his hookahs Absolutely. versus trying to go get a, a more name brand commercial hookah. Absolutely. I, you know what I'm saying? I don't Absolutely. know. But I... We as a people gotta understand, like, okay, when you see ill outside of a venue, you see sleep outside of a venue, you see one of our DJs, you see somebody we brought here, you gotta understand, man, we're putting ourselves on the line every single time we do mm. one of these events, bro. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And when there's nobody there, guess what? You know who take the loss? Not you. You could keep your money in your pocket. You could go home. You feel what I'm saying? We take the loss. 
my exactly. team because the DJ still got to get something. You yeah. know what I'm saying? The people that help promote. They still and you know, even if you was a rapper that came through and you did your little slide or whatever, you came on late, whatever the case, you feel like you ain't do it. You lost a hundred dollars. It's a lot more than a hundred dollars at play. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to and, this shit. And that's only don't no, now hold on. Them, them hundred dollar instances, them only like special occasions. This is only right, like right. every once in a blue moon we try anybody tell you, bro. We don't even right. I would literally tell the artists, look, just bring some support. You can bring two, three people, bro. I fuck that's with true. you. Yeah, I'm yeah, gonna yeah. make it work because I understand the struggle. I come from the struggle, bro. I literally came from nothing. You feel what I'm saying? Like anybody that's who true. know me, family, whatever, I came from nothing. Bro, I used to sleep on the floor. Head to foot, little cousins, roaches right. everywhere. Like I came from nothing. See, so. but that and that's that's one of the problems I, I see with like I grew up with a lot of people that that came from that same particular, you know what I'm saying, circumstance. And one of the problems that I see with that is that kind of same thing with like some of the girls that I don't mess with is that you know a lot of times they'll have like it's like when you came from nothing, the first thing you want to do is try to give back. You know what I'm saying? But in my opinion, you know, a lot of times you know you ain't even in real a real position to give back to the point you know like you can't really help out you know what i'm saying as much as you is you can't really change nobody's life yeah. you know what i'm saying and it's like but you feel like you you know what i'm saying you you've been there in the struggle so you feel like you should yeah. you know what i'm saying but it's like you have to be very wary of that you know what i'm saying and then this is another thing this is really another reason why, why i wanted to have this podcast shit was because i felt like when i'm listening to the interviews whether it be on the radio or you know, even sometimes when I listen to like Breakfast Club, although they do a great, they're one of the best ones that do it. But a lot of times when I listen to um, uh, s certain interviews, right, they let rappers, promoters, people like that just say say platitudes. You know what I'm saying? They don't give people the actual struggle. So that's why people have the 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 misinformation, uh, the perception of what it is that it's going to take to make it. Fact. Like I used to listen, like, I used to rap back in the day. So when I'm listening to interviews, I want to hear, how did you make it exactly? Yeah. Not don't tell me that it's a movement and you've been working and you've been grinding. Yeah. That means nothing. That doesn't say don't anything. Shit. That don't mean it's, tell it's, exactly it's, like it's too I'm gonna cut you off. No, you go ahead, go ahead. I go ahead. wanna say this while you on that stuff. It's two stories. If you in this live and whatever, it's two stories <laughs> I'm running for me. It's two stories that you need to listen to that will give you the real blueprint from struggle. From rags to riches. Oh, I think I, I want to guess this. Joke. That's Master P. Ah, Uncle Luke. That's nah. I ain't gonna say Uncle Luke. I'm gonna Uncle say Jay Z Luke. because Jay Z, Jay Z has amassed so much success. People forget his struggle. This motherfucking man literally went to damn near every label in New York City, and they all turned him down. City was some shit. <laughs> you, you have to read the books. That's the whole thing. The books you give you a lot more listen. detail. I'm telling you, bro. This man, Master P, he went to the Bay Area. You know what I'm saying? He got the game from the Bay. He took it back to New Orleans. He bubbled in New Orleans to the point where Priority Records came knocking. And then you gotta do you you gotta do your own research. You feel what I'm saying on that? Yeah. But I want to talk more Jay Z because Jay Z has went he's transcended so far that people forget his humble beginnings. This man, when it was him, Kareem Biggs, Burke, Damon Dash, they all put their money together. Right. And they said, fuck it, we're going to start our own label. Since they don't want right. to sign us, that's another type of belief. Like you said, gambling with your own money. Yeah. Because you still believe in this man and everybody else. What type of love do you have to have for somebody? Everybody's telling you your man some shit. And then you saying, fuck it, I'm going to still put 200000 behind you. You got 200000 right. I'm going to put my 200000 right, in too. Right. And then we all put our money together and we go buy bands and slap the Rockefeller logo on this that's motherfucker. And, 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 and we push our brand. And then guess what? We make Def Jam a distributor. We don't yeah. sign a deal with Def Jam. We right, make right. Def Jam a, a they kind of started the distribution deal thing. But the like, first yeah. deal came from Priority, and I didn't. Um, that's something that people forget. And Master P kind of touched on it because he was like, "When I got my deal, I might have had a more lucrative deal than Jay Z at the time." You feel what I'm saying? Jay Z is one of the best examples of how to come. He came from the streets mm -hmm. to the rap game as a rapper. And then he turned it to a full fledged businessman. Fair enough, fair enough. And I and I and I totally agree with it. I think even more on a fundamental level, right? One of the biggest things that you see is that these dudes didn't just work on an out, didn't just, all right, I'm gonna put two hours into this every two weeks or three hours into this once a week. These dudes were out here hustling and literally putting whatever I don't care what you're doing, whether you're doing drugs, whether you're selling real estate, whatever you want. These dudes are doing I'm waking up in the morning doing this. So when I go back to sleep, that's what I'm doing. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's all connected. So it's like these dudes are, are fundamental hard workers. You know what I'm saying? And, and and are able to take no with grace. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, you talk about, like, not saying that, oh, you just shut down, but it's like, all right, just because I heard no don't mean I'm about to, uh, I'm about to stop whatever it is I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? If you right. get in my way, I'm going to try to m make a way around it. Yeah. I, I try to throw out Uncle Luke as well. Like, you know, I've read Master P's book as well. Like, he's on it too. Like, you know, he got a little bit from my Uncle Luke too. Like, Uncle Luke was doing it back when nobody even fuck with floor with rap down there yeah, down yeah, south yeah, yeah. No, that facts. was back when they there was only facts, new york facts, ran facts, ran facts, rap facts, facts, and he and he and them niggas didn't even fuck with him and he was going to actual niggas that made cds you know what i'm saying he was the first nigga really to start selling everything under his name he wasn't taking the label like he was selling t-shirts yeah. you know what i'm saying everything around it and nah, so uncle luke a goat yeah, you know yeah he, he's definitely and, a goat and I, I don't really i mean i could speak on that because like my my blood relatives my cousins you know what I'm saying? It was a bass group back in the day. The name of that group was this and that. You know what I'm saying? If you're familiar with bass, you know what I'm saying? You might have to do your homework because a lot of people that probably follow me not even old enough to know. You know what I'm saying? But they was up on the loop. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like that's how I even ended up meeting Trick Daddy because, you know what hmm. I'm saying, when um All-Star Weekend 2003, I was in Atlanta and um I ended up meeting Trick Daddy through them because they got a personal relationship. Like, they shit tight. Like, Uncle yeah. Luke a real nigga, you know what I'm saying? He's a he's a he's a full fledged, yeah. you know what I'm saying? He yeah. he go get it, you That's know what I'm saying? Even real. now he provide opportunities for um Devontae Freeman came through his his little football, football team. Shit. Yeah, yeah, he's still doing that. He's still doing that joint heavy man. Salute, you know he's man. you gotta salute. And then so that that brings me back to the point. I ain't even want want to get off it, but like as far as like when people aren't really talking about what it really took, like even for the Migos, right? I heard some really, and this was like, this didn't even have to do with the interview. This was like one of the documentaries they did on them. Mm. One of the biggest things that I, I was like, that was like, this is some good information. Is like, when they really first started, they was fucking with this one club in Atlanta. I can't remember the name of it. But what they were doing was cutting deals with that particular club. You mm. know what I'm saying? So that they could perform there on like a, I got them two, three time a night basis. Right. You know what I'm saying? And they was bringing everybody, they created the buzz themselves yeah. you know what i'm saying before so when they started talking about no label and all of that they had niggas in the studio while they recording busting cds down yeah, yeah you know yeah, what i'm saying yeah, yeah, and yeah. so that that's really like that tells you right there is talking about that's you need to create a network around yourself you Facts. know what i'm saying Facts. and that you like you can't expect like to me honestly it's like if you just expect a nigga to fuck with you off the strength of who you are and you haven't established anything yeah. you're entitled you, your entitlement is out the roof. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, you, you, you lost from the beginning, bro, because that shit, like, I, I don't understand. Like, that's one of the biggest things I don't, I don't get to. Like, I get I get many a rapper in my DM talking about, yeah, man, I got a movement. I'm bringing it on. And I'll be like, like I, number one, I don't even know if you watch my show, but, like, yeah, I don't even yeah, have that many yeah, rappers yeah, on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. That's number one. And then number two is, like, well, what you want to talk about? Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I could do what a lot of other radio stations and people, media, media do, where I just bring guests on every week, charge them just 150, that, right, you right, know what right, I'm saying, right, right, and right. give them, give them bullshit-ass questions that don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. I could do that, you know what I'm saying? But, like, to me, I knew that's why I invested in myself off the top, because not even, I didn't even do it for the money, to be honest with you. I did it so that I could put out the content that I wanted to put out, you right. know what I'm saying? So I could talk about the shit I wanted to talk about and talk to who I want to talk to. Facts. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. why I don't even charge, but you know what I'm saying? I, I, I like what you said about the Migos, right? You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because um, another scenario, I watched this myself, same All-Star Weekend 2003, T.I. at the time dropped from the face records, currently, no record deal. Uh, I want to say the club was either the bounce, I think it was the bounce at the time. Now, this all Star weekend. He already had a song that was hot. It was this rolling drove. Right, 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 right. Foes. That's what got him hot again. And he'd already had a deal prior to that. Right, he right, lost right. Lost that, that deal. He back to the he went back to the drum board. PSC shit. He had all his mixtapes. But that song, I was literally, bro, it was nowhere in Atlanta. I went around and I didn't hear that song. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah. I say that to say, like, that's no different than what the Migos did. It's like you have to have a you gotta build a movement like this shit especially now this is the best time there's ever been in history of music to be an artist because before you literally could not even get the ears of a label if you didn't already have your shit on fire facts you but, know what i'm saying let me let me throw in this up i don't mean to interrupt but yeah. let me throw this up but it also has put the work on the artists themselves getting, that's what I was even to. more because that's what I was like to. yeah because it's like at the oh, end of the day cool. now it's not like all right yeah, you yeah. could just go to a record label you get plugged in you rap in front of them and then they just shoot through shoot money on you yeah, that's now you I'm have going. to that's really do the work 
That's what I'm going because that's what I'm about to get to. Mm. But you have to have hustle. That's why I'm saying that Amigo story is important because people see Instagram. I'm going to tell you, social media fucked up because it, it social media is a beautiful platform because right. you can promote, you can network, you can socialize, you can do a million things. You can troll. You can do a million things on, on social media, right? Right, right, right. But it's a curse too because it shows you people can pick and choose what they show you. So I cannot show you the struggle, you feel what I'm saying? They, and, and I could just show you this, I could just show you the success. <laughs> and you're like, damn, that nigga L came up overnight. You feel what I'm saying? And it's like, nah, that's not that's not how it happened. You feel what I'm saying? And like you said, when people do the interviews on the Breakfast Clubs and you know uh the hot nine sevens, et cetera, they don't, be they don't always get a chance to tell the whole story, whether it's right. by choice or by force. You right. feel what I'm saying? Right. But if you 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 have to listen, nigga, anybody in this motherfucker. You gotta hustle. You gotta, you have to have a hustle. You can't just think, oh, I'm talented. I can rap. I deserve this. Cause like he said, it's no, I mean, labels are still putting money behind shit right now, but they rather but take they don't the gotta do code. the work no more. Nah, yeah, they, they don't have to do the, the work. Cheat code they ain't gotta go look for niggas. Perfect look example. <laughs> The nigga Blueface, right? You know what I'm saying? Cause I don't wanna talk about the other, the other nigga hot. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but Blueface, right? Blueface literally said, bro, he was paying to do shows. He paid for promo, paid for promo. He paid for promo. You know what I'm saying? He got himself hot. And then Wack 100 came looking for him because that's what a motherfucker going to do now. A label can literally say, all right, bet. They can look at the numbers you're doing. They can look at like, damn, he didn't put all this. He invested this much into himself already. He was doing this on his own. All right, all we got to do is meet him halfway. And we got, we, we got, a, we got a star. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. It, it, it's 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 that it's 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 not that easy, but you gotta have that hustle. I seen somebody here uh said Nipsey Hustle. That was another nigga. Nipsey yeah, Hustle. He was. I remember listening bruh. to his shit like when when niggas wasn't even. Listening. I just remember Ooh. knowing like you know what I'm saying. Listening to this these little mixtapes. That's shit one when of I was the realest in, uh, niggas in rap, bro. In, in college, and you know shit. what I'm saying? Yeah. The slapping all. That's how I be. I be want to slap these niggas. You know what I'm saying? There's some whole <laughs> ass niggas. Out. I be want to put my hands on. Them, but I don't want to go back to jail. I'm still on papers. You know what I'm saying? You know, my PO watching, man. I'm just I'm just venting verbally. I ain't necessarily trying to really right, fuck right, nobody. Right. But I be want to slap the shit out of some of these niggas. Fuck these niggas because they ungrateful. But Nipsey what was Hussle. the what was the worst? What was uh, my bad? Before we get to Nipsey Hustle, what right. was what was the most ungrateful shit that you ever hey, bro, experienced? Listen, man, nigga, a nigga told me to my face, bro. Hey, man, <laughs> you put me on my first platform, man. I appreciate you, man. Thank you so much. Ah, and then turn around and try to steal my whole shit, bro. That's how niggas do. Niggas, and, niggas what, and like, did that to me that's too. The, that's, the, <laughs> that's the thing that come from a nigga not knowing who they really dealing with. You feel mm. what I'm saying? It's like, you don't know me on no level. What type of man can look you in your eyes and say, hey, bruh, I fuck with you. Thank you. I appreciate you. Want to really... Nobody nobody even... Be nobody knew who the fuck you was until I took a chance on you. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? Nobody gave no fucks who you was. And then you turn around and try to steal a nigga a whole shit, bruh. That's the yeah. type of niggas you got to do. That's business, though. Hey, look, that, that that is business. But the thing about it is that for me, it'd be like, especially... Uh, niggas on this level, like I done had niggas I done, I done grew up with, and it's like you know what I'm saying. Niggas don't should give, should give me no likes. Don't be doing that. They be like when I see him around the way. Oh yeah, hey, look man, you 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 cool. Hey look man, I see you doing your thing. I be like damn, you ain't never saying nothing cool. Next thing you know, I'm looking up. Niggas doing podcast. Niggas trying to start a podcast and shit. Niggas trying to reach out to niggas. Out of I was like, all right, I already know just off the strength. If you got a copy off another nigga idea. You not like I don't have to worry about you because ain't shit gonna pop over there. Nothing, never. nothing's gonna never, pop nothing over there. Nothing good gonna come from that, bro. <laughs> nothing's gonna never, pop over nothing there. Nothing good gonna come from that, now. <laughs> one thing, one thing, one thing that aside, because like I, mm -hmm. I like I lose if I put my hands on somebody. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, I lose if I take yeah. it to that level, like because yeah. these niggas some hoes, bro. I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I tell niggas to their face, like I don't try to be that type of person. I try to give people ill way, but it's people in here, mm -hmm. like right now, am I alive that really know me? They know. L from Southeast, they know the nigga before all this, before, because I used to rap. And when I was rapping, the streets was first, rap was second, in that order. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I, I was literally in the trenches with it all day, all day, all day, all day, all day. And I go to the studio maybe once a week. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. And, um, you know, I, me being an artist, I learned my damn self that, you know, it's more to it. But at the time I had the money, I didn't know where to put it. 
Yeah, you know that's a big yeah, that's a that's a big thing. Yeah, you, know, you, you got to know, know you got to know what where to, to put invest it too. in. You got to do yeah. your homework, you got to do your research. You know what I'm saying? You can't just give anybody your money to say, "Hey, promo my shit." You got to do your research. And exactly. That be the biggest thing. That was one of my things like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and shout out to uh King Loving, man. That's my man. Like, yeah, like, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's my man. And shout out to King Loving, <laughs> man, cuz he's um like for you could say what you want about him, but whatever he says he is, he lives that. Right. You know what I'm saying? I got to respect him all the way. Now, one thing I remember we was talking about um, on our particular show was that we were talking about, like, like paying for promo. Right. Now, this is one of the reasons why I don't necessarily see... I don't see why artists pay for promo on on certain pages. Like, especially, like, even with comedians' pages. This is one thing I had to disagree with. Because, all right, you, you, I know he got into the situation because it had finessed and that shit was some bullshit. Right. But I don't understand why rappers... Like, let's say, go on certain platforms and then pay for promo when, for me, when I look at the, I, I, like, I, I thought about it, you know what I'm saying? But when I look at the analytics of it, I was like, all right, so I'm watching a dude, I actually looked at, all right, this dude is showing a commercial for somebody, right? right. Then I look at how many likes this person got, you know what I'm saying? How many person like? Then I go to that person's page and see... I look at it like days, but days after, and right. I'll see like how many like how many lights, how many visits did that person get from that particular promo? Yep. Now, to me, it doesn't translate. It's not worth the money. You know what I'm saying? Especially like let's say if you if you're on a comedian's page and you you rap, but you're on a comedian's page, like people come to that comedian's page for that right. for the, for the laughs. You right. know what I'm saying? And even with a lot of these, like I think that the the money itself, especially, would be better suited for Let's say maybe interviews like this, maybe interviews like I'm saying that, but I don't I'm not even saying it for my own bread. I don't try. But it's like um, I think like maybe showcasing who you are as an individual. And then like I would say just kind of overall putting content out there. You know what I'm saying? Right. To me, that's money. Now, that's just my personal opinion. You know what I'm saying? But I do think that once you take a deeper look into a lot of the ways that you spend me and I could say, especially with this like. With this podcast shit, you know, I jumped into it head first and started spending bread off the top. I made a lot of mistakes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I bought shit. I, I went too high on this shit and went too low on this shit. You know what I'm saying? That's and a part of the game. Yeah, it is. It is you a part of the game. You know, it's going to frustrate you. being your own boss. You're going yeah. you to make mistakes. You know, we don't yeah. have... Unfortunately, we don't have a lot of platforms for... And that needs to change. You feel what I'm saying? We don't have yeah. enough platforms where you have another black man teaching another black man the do's and don'ts of becoming your own boss. You mm -hmm. feel what I'm saying? I think we need more classes like that. You know, when mm -hmm. I went to the Made in the DMV conference, one thing that I did see, they got a junk called a, a CBE boot camp. I signed up for it. It's next week. And um, I didn't know that it was something outside of an LLC where you could get, the, you know, for your company. You feel what I'm saying? You don't just have yeah, the yeah, LLC. Is, yeah, you, you could do it a multiple. CBE. Yeah, CBE as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah and yeah, I'm yeah, going to go right. do my research on that. And one thing about me, I try to pass knowledge down. And okay, we're going to get back to where we was at with the promo shit too. Yeah. I don't want to go too far. But I wanted to say that. Um, but, uh, 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 uh. Fuck it. Let's get to the, the, the promo shit, right? Uh, All right. I personally, I only speak on shit that I know from experience. I was about to say networking. People don't holler at me. I got all types of information. People come to an event. You rob, you leave. You holler at me. You never know what I know. I got the plug. My man put me in on the game with the plug on how to get your shit on Say Cheese Digital. You feel what I'm saying? Mm, mm, now, it, it, it's going to cost you, but I can get, you know what I'm saying? It yeah. is what it is. You have to pay. Why well, pay somebody else a promo when you got this? And then yeah, he now, now players account. like Say Cheese Diddle, I could, I could, I, that to me if makes a good artist. difference. Yeah, if you're an artist, that makes a lot of sense because people who go to that platform are going directly to that platform and for And then that. he has, you're doing it through email. You can do, you got a paper trail. You can send your money through PayPal. You now have a pay, paper trail and a contract because the, the, what he sends you mm, is a contract that's, that's another legally thing. binding for both parties. That's you excellent. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's, that's and excellent. And it says that if your promo is not up within, you got, he got 28 days to post your shit if your promo is not up within 28 days you can do whatever you can go through the steps of trying to get your money back that's true and that's hey look that's that's one of the biggest issues that people talk about I'm too right hip. so you now, know let's, now let's get to that now mm -hmm. i me personally i don't one thing niggas know about i don't do no welling bro i pay comedians for promo you know what i'm saying i pay <laughs> apop i pay goofies i pay O dog right Every time. Now, one thing I can say in my particular case, uh -huh. I did see results because of the way that it was promoted. Okay. Because people are going to their page for comedy. They made comedy skits for my song. 
You feel what I'm saying? Oh, okay, so okay. it's no different than. Hey, you're I doing think love it, love it over this type of paragraphs over that, John. I can see it a little bit. What, what, what that man over there talking yeah, about? Nah, he just said he was just saying he been on the phone with both of us game game. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, yeah, but that's yeah, right. And, I, and, I, and that's how you gotta do it because if I know that people coming to your page to see something funny, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? They might not catch it off the break, but if the skit is funny, the songs in the background, it's on me to capitalize on it after that's that. That's true. That's you true. That's true. But and that's, that's just it's, my it's, opinion. It's, I'm not no, saying no, no, I'm no, right. No, 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 no. You're mm-hmm. you're right. No, it's no right or wrong in this because well, I'm just giving a different angle. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Because at the end of the day, you have to like you you did your research. You have to do your own research before you put your money into something. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? That's just like or don't be mad say, at the results. Nah, for yeah. facts. Cause like that's like <laughs> if know? a nigga if I see a nigga on Instagram, right? And he got whatever the next Jones is getting ready to come out. And he say he posted a picture of some Jays and say, I got these Jones for hundred dollars. You know what I'm saying? Then it's like, hold on, bro. Who you gotta ask yourself, like, who got the brand new Jones before they come out for hundred dollars? Yeah, you showing me a picture on Instagram. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But how do I know that when I send you this money that I'm gonna get this? Yeah. You have to do yeah. your research. You got to know who shot with this man before, who voucher for him. Exactly. You feel what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. don't just throw your don't just throw your money away. You feel what I'm saying? It's no different than on the block. You're not going to buy no huff. You feel what I'm saying? You're going to yeah. do your research before. You're not going to just a random nigga just catch you in the den. He's like, yeah, bro, I got gas. I, 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 I got, mm-hmm. I got, I got, I got, I got the, I got the zips for a hundred. like, man, they got ounces for a hundred dollars. This nigga trying to rob you, bro. Yeah, they, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you, you got to You got to Who vouch for this nigga? You feel right, what I'm saying? Right, like, right, who right. is, um, that was it. It's hit or miss with that. Yeah. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. But it's, 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 it's all about doing your research. You feel what yeah, I'm saying? See, one thing about the internet, it got it, it runs on algorithms. You feel what I'm uh-huh. saying? So everything is already, they got their numbers already crunched. All the motherfuckers literally I do is go in there, look, they know what to advertise now. When you watch your story, I guarantee you, whatever you've been talking about all day comes right up through your, in your story. It do, it do. It come it, on your yeah. feed. You, mm-hmm. you see these ads everywhere. Should you be talking about and it's fucked up? But yeah. that's how. Like that's when the, you put, like when you put some, like so, you type into something to Google. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. You type anything into Google. You type my, like I, I type in some shit about a MacBook. They've been sending me goddamn MacBooks. You know what I'm saying? MacBook advertising. You know, because so, that's because people think the shit free, but it's not like that. Your information is that's how they're getting paid. Is your information? Facts, you know what facts. I'm saying? It's not. So, it's not. It's not free, really. So you know? we don't. So we don't have the advantage of having the system that can systematically divide everything and break everything down for you but wow. first thing as an artist you need to turn first thing is an artist don't have your fucking page private dog you know what i'm saying <laughs> oh y'all with this camera that camera this camera if you are artist don't fucking have your page private that's some idiotic shit Man. how are you going to reach the masses if your page is private let if me you- let me know and i'm gonna say this to like this because i already go swell my page ain't private but i done thought about it a couple of times because i get into it with a female or whatever then next thing you know i got a comment on my shit i block her then she done created like three four pages Man, and shit look, and hit, hit me the, i'll be like I, god I, damn i want to pick private this shit so bad certain, <laughs> hold on now, certain circumstances because there's people that i know that's close to me i love that have private pages and i feel like but there's a time and a place because you can't have it private forever. Eventually, yeah. you're going to have to open your page to the public. You want to know why? Because hashtags, and I've done it in my story so I can see the difference. Mm-hmm. Bro, I put something in my story one time, and I had my song playing, and I hashtag James Harden. My, 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 I got 200 hits from that hashtag alone. Right. Not counting the views that I get in my own story by myself. I'm talking about right. it'll tell you when I go and I click that hashtag. I can see this. And I don't know where these people from. These people from everywhere. They only came because of that hashtag. Yeah. So yeah, hashtagging sure. and all that is important because it'll get you a broader audience. I didn't fully understand it. And I don't hashtag as much as I should because... You literally get that followers be from your <laughs> hashtag. Yeah, I mean, you don't want to put a million hashtags. Some people yeah, do it. Be, you feel yeah. what I'm saying? But you want anything related to what you're doing. If you're making new music, put new music hashtag. If you're making mm. unsigned artists, put unsigned artists as a hashtag because these hashtags literally get millions and millions and millions and millions of hits. You feel what I'm saying? And it's going to bring some type of traffic to your page. What you got going on, you never know who you're going to... I see people get celebrities that like they shit and they be thinking that, oh, this person hip to me. Sometimes it's Mm -hmm. your hashtags that bring these people to your, because you have people that specifically on there and maybe looking for black filmmakers. Right. Yeah, go to the black filmmaker hashtag and they may just scroll through that and just see what's going on. That's true. Yeah, yeah, no. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, this is real shit. Like, I study this shit. Like, I don't just be talking because I got lips. Like, this shit that I really 
study. You feel what I'm saying? Right. Because I wanted to understand. You gotta think I'm a nigga that was in prison. When I went to jail, it was MySpace, nigga. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, I remember. When MySpace. I came home with Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all of this shit. I don't know yeah. how this shit worked. So <laughs> I'm in the halfway house, like on Facebook thinking it's the shit. Like, oh yeah, da, da. <laughs> right, my little right. man went on shot my, my little my dog come home next month, man. Free Rigo Lee. You know what I'm saying? Like he the one that put me on Instagram. He was like, bro, I make you on Instagram. You on that old ass shit with them old people on Facebook, man. Make you a grand, bro. That's how he said it, exactly like that. And I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah. what's Instagram? It's just pictures. I didn't understand. He was like, man, just make you an Instagram page. And then from there I started studying it because I'm like, I still didn't fully understand it. Yeah. I didn't understand, I didn't understand trolling. I didn't understand all of this shit and then you know what i'm saying when i watched the little the rainbow head nigga that turned hot i watched you talking about takashi yeah, yeah i watched yeah. him master he remastered something that soldier boy had already done yeah you know what i'm saying yeah. he remastered shout out to soldier boy he yeah, was man. a goat man big, he yeah, was shout out goat. to draco man yeah 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 you know, draco, draco is a goat man <laughs> like don't goat, listen man. bro don't get caught yeah. up in the hype man that little nigga he started a lot of this shit. If it wasn't for him, we wouldn't have the internet the way that it is today. Man, that's and that's a, a fact. fact. That's YouTube, a fact. back in the day, I remember YouTube when YouTube first started, bro. YouTube was just like a, it was just a place you, yeah, did, you know what I'm saying? Cat videos, cat videos. It was that's weird shit on there, bro. And right. it was like, now he turned it into where, that's the, you, we used to have the box first. Oh man, God, I, I missed the box. Then you That's had Rap City, City, you had Rap City in the basement. basement. Right, right, you right. You had 106 a park. We had, then you had MCB Jams. You had places where you could go and watch videos. Now, everybody watches their videos on YouTube. Right, right, World right, Star. Right. So you it was it was funneled through this one little, it was like a lot of our information was really funneled through this one little lane, which, you know, it, it, it was pros and cons because it was like, look, if you got your shit on 106 and pop, you're fucking hot. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> That's real though. But if you had, if you, if you got your shit on 106 and pop, if you got your shit on the box, I don't care if you play that shit at three o'clock in the morning, yeah. niggas know you. That yeah. was straight up how it was. But yeah. now it's expanded. So now the door isn't quite as small. But at the same time, now everybody's trying to get in. Fact. You know what I'm saying? So it's still, to me, it's still just as difficult as before, but the strategy is different now. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, man. And then, all right, so since we since we on that particular subject, this is another thing. And, you know, I did this, you know what I'm saying, when I was, you know what I'm saying, fucking with your shows, fucking with a couple other niggas' shows. Like, when y'all artists, man, and, and I say some of my best, some of my favorite artists, I, like, that know how to fucking rock a crowd and have energy, I fuck with Love It. Uh, Bumpway, they always got energy. I, I I fuck with them, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of the girl rappers, they do their thing too. But like, I done had some rappers, right? Where I've literally, this is this is the wildest shit. I think I was doing the jump at 12-12. I don't know whether that was with you or with somebody else. I can't remember. Because I've done it with 12-12 with you, but like, like a couple times with other people as well. Yeah. I think, nah, I think that was with, with Dale. But anyway, came on the jump. So, cuz is rapping, right? And so, and number one, he drunk his shit off the, off the strength. Like, what the fuck? All right, so you drunk as fuck. You're a man drunk as fuck. He all wild, jumping up in the, mud, in the middle of the joint. And I'm trying to do a nice little recording. I had to turn it off because I was like, if I was to post this, like, he would think I'm beefing with him because <laughs> because his performance was so embarrassing. Yeah. He probably thought I'm trying to, I'm, I'm fucking with him. Like, I'm saying fuck you. Yeah. But, like, the nigga literally drunk as shit, dropped his phone in the middle of his performance, just put the mic down as the music playing and go look for his phone. There was... For the rest of the set, like it was, I was like, and then yeah, they, that, these niggas, they not even facing the crowd, like they they rapping and they rapping into their palm, they rapping up, down, everywhere, but in the crowd, I'd be like, look, if you're nervous about being in front of people, don't do this shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Don't like, you know what I'm saying? Don't rap. Like yeah. half of this shit is performance. Like, like niggas think they could just me go their way to the goddamn. <laughs> that shit be. I was like, son, this shit is like half of this shit. I ain't even gonna swell like. Some of this shit be put, like embarrassing because shit. At least I know back in the day, you know, I I was really more like like battle rapping and shit like that. Okay. So that was like auto automatically you had performances tied into it. Hey, That's nah, just nah. what it is. But it was like back in the day, like I remember, like I like motherfuckers used to tell, you, hey, look, when you if you performing in front of people, you gotta move around. You know what I'm saying? You have to interact. You gotta look here, look there. You know what I'm saying? You have to interact with the entire crowd. And I see I be seeing a lot of rappers, man. I really think that they just think that they supposed to. Put this shit out there, you know what I'm saying? Put whatever song, rap just like everybody else. Put a song out there, bam, promote it, shoot a video, you know what I'm saying? And bang, bang, 
Like what's going? Hey, cut. Hey, Elway, what's going on, bro? Like, like you it's know what I'm saying? Microwave, man. It's <laughs> microwave rap now. It's microwave rap now because everybody. You got niggas like you know what I'm saying. You got niggas that got on the you know that's that's not as lyrical as like how it used to be back in the day. You still got mm. lyrical rappers out, so don't don't think uh, I'm, yeah. I'm shitting on nobody. But I'm saying you got a nigga like a little pump, right? And then you know what I'm saying he makes hit music, etc., whatever. And I'm, I'm not saying that he's a bad artist. I'm just saying that lyrically. It's people out here that feel like, man, I could rap better than that nigga. Right. And that's what it is because they see a nigga like him and they like, man, I could rap better than that nigga. Exactly. And but you got to look at that... the totality of what these, even Takashi, man, I don't think Takashi could rap like that. He, Well, I can say, look, I'm not a big judge because I don't listen to half of the new rap anyway. I'm not a good judge. But I can say like this. One thing I can notice is that when you see Takashi and even Lil Pump, you watch these dudes' performances, they are wilding the fuck out. You know what I'm saying? You gotta respect the, the uh, at least that like that part of the performance part of it is there, uh, and uh, so you gotta you gotta throw that in it. Like that's why like the, for me, I just be taking a step back because at first I don't want to feel like old niggas like like just like oh, I'm hating on the shit because I no uh, no doubt about oh, no, it. No 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 yeah that's that. See that's like, why do your I thing. like that. I, hey, hold on. For, first of all, fuck Takashi Six Nine. I was gonna say that. Oh but, man, I feel but, bad for him. Nah, though, man, man. I, you, you don't, don't feel, feel bad. No, nah no. man. You know why? Hold on. Listen listen listen. I'm gonna tell you why. Right. Because I'm a street nigga, and I'm going to tell you exactly why. Before I jumped off the porch and decided that, you know what? I'm going to sell this product. Mm -hmm. I knew that what I was getting myself into was wrong. Mm -hmm. I knew that if I get caught, I can go to jail. Right. You feel what I'm saying? And I knew that this is my responsibility. True. If I give you my money, and you give me a product, and I then sell it, if I get caught, my first option is not to give you up so I can get out of trouble. Fair enough. Because you didn't make me do anything. I you agree. You know what I'm saying? And so, in his case, this is what we're talking about is a person who rose to stardom. Right. Now, you got power. This is why money is dangerous. Now, you got the power to wipe your enemies out. You can say, hey, I give you, et cetera. Fact. Go test this nigga. You know what I'm saying? Fact. But with that power comes great responsibility. Fair enough. And that's Spider-Man. So you can't be the nigga that's sending hits. And now you get jammed up and you throw this nigga under the bus because he I did agree. that for you. Hey, look, I so totally, how can you hey, feel look. bad for that person? Because do you feel bad for the people? Let's say, for instance, he somebody got killed on the strength of this nigga. Right. You right. might didn't put the work in, but you called a hit. You caused it. Right, right. And fair enough. Like, like and, and what I'm saying, you're absolutely right. Only thing I would say that, because mind you, all right, so you've been in the street. Have you seen, you know niggas you grew up with, right? <laughs> yeah. You knew niggas you grew up with, and I knew endless niggas that they jumped in a particularly crazy situations that you knew you could look in their eyes that they wasn't ready for. And, and, and you, then they you got, know what? and it's like you look and you like, you can see it in like, especially when you know the niggas ain't really built for none of this. Yeah. Like you feel bad for them because at least I nah. feel bad, I, I do to a certain degree because I know that. For the mistakes that he's made, like I made plenty of mistakes when I was when I was around his we age. We all made mistakes. You know what I'm saying? And so the 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 consequences of his of his mistakes are now going to last him and a, a lifetime essentially. Oh, but the the worst consequence <laughs> of his mistakes that's going to haunt him is the fact that he told. That that's because. But then, if he on, didn't on. tell, what would it was either a hundred listen a hundred years. Let's, let's, talk, right, about okay, right, let's, let's talk, talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Now this, listen, bro. Listen, check this out. Because right. I'm a fan. <laughs> I was nigga. about to say, yeah, all right, I'm a like, fan you, nigga, you, and I'm not, expect. I'm not. Con listen, this is what we're not gonna do. Because I'm, right. I'm a real. I've been in situations, bro, where I've known this ain't for you. You know what I've done? I pulled this little guy to the side. Hey, bro, go to school, bro. You feel what I'm saying? Nigga might be the same age as me. He might be a year older than me. Right. I knew that. I'm not saying I was made for the streets. That's a lie. Mm -hmm. I just knew that once I got in it that I'm going to accept what come with this. Right. If I get shot, right, right, which I've right, been right. shot. If I get shot at, I've been shot at. If I get locked up, I've been locked up numerous times. Never once on me getting locked up or anything have I ever implemented another man. Because that's at the end of the up. day, right. people that's on the block know who is not ready. Now, in certain cases, you mm. had that nigga that go harder than you. You might have a nigga that's the killer. He didn't kill this person, killed that person, killed this person, and now he didn't got caught up. But guess what he do? He point fingers at everybody. 
Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got to say no names because there's people in here that know these niggas that I'm talking about is niggas out here. You can't kill a million niggas and then when it's like Sammy the Bull or Alpo and then when it come down on you, you like, well, fuck it. I'm going to just give other, all these other people up because I ain't about to do all this time. That's why I don't have mm. I don't have no sympathy for those yeah. type of people. Yeah. Now, if you're a motherfucker, like, I'm going to tell you a perfect example. I watched Marlon Wayne say it and I said, damn, that's crazy that he would say that, but it's real because a nigga that'll tell you out their own mouth, listen, don't break no law around me because I'm going to tell. Yeah. You as a man are supposed to know I can't deal with this nigga. When you see a nigga like Takashi Six Nine and you put him up next to the shoddies and all them other blood niggas, he don't fit. That's like uh, when you yeah. give a kid. I'm a, this is simple. When you give a kid that little um toy, they got the circle, the square, the triangle. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? His shit was a rectangle. It ain't even on this ball. It don't fit. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, no. So I you agree. can't make it. So just as much as. It, they they're at fault to a degree, but he's at a bigger fault because when it was 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 when it was, when it was sex, drugs, and murder. You feel what I'm saying? All good. You all in? It was all it's, good. it's it's it it's, it's good. fucking Treyway. And now, where's that at now? Now, don't get me wrong. I do believe that a part of this these niggas did to themselves because of whatever they did to on wiretaps and all that. But that's the game the feds play. The feds gonna chop shit up and make it sound the way it sound and play the audio for you. Hey, this your man. And let you hear it. This nigga talking on the phone about trying to <laughs> super duper violate you. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? That's the game they play. I didn't. I didn't been in interrogation room where they didn't told me a nigga that I know on a on on my life would never tell on me has told on me. You think I'm gonna believe what this fucking cracker is telling me over my man? You feel what I'm saying? And and I and, I, and, I, and I'm saying I'm not saying that it can't happen, but I'm just mm. saying I never I've been in situations where niggas have said things on me that I couldn't believe that that person said it. But for yeah. the most part, the niggas that I knew in my heart that had my best interest, they never folded on me, bro. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like mm. you gotta know if if that's like me, LeBron James, right? LeBron James played basketball. I'm not gonna be Bill Belichick going to every Laker game trying to recruit LeBron James to play for the fucking Patriots. He's not a football player. I don't care that he's the same size, same height. He could possibly play football. He's played basketball his whole life, so leave him over there. The difference is what they supposed to do, and he not supposed to get involved in no gangster shit, and they not supposed to involve him in no gangster shit. You keep the rapper on the rap side, mm. you keep the street shit over here, and now you don't have to worry about this nigga folding because he didn't see nothing. He wasn't involved in nothing. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. All of that shit was fun and games when they was trolling and telling niggas to suck they dick and all that wild shit. Yeah. Now, all right, go suck some dick, nigga. You feel know what I'm saying? Exactly. And you know, I totally agree with what you're saying. It's just sometimes I just picture like what this fuck this nigga gonna have to go through. It's like, like it's, even if you get, even if you you told on everybody and they give you three, four years, you still gotta survive that. That's a thousand something days yeah. that you have to survive. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like either way, either you do a hundred years or and, and and possibly survive that, or you do three or four crazy. You gonna have to be in protective custody. You you you, you wanna know? You wanna then, know? We when you wanna get know. out too. This, like, is, oh this, is, this is this is this is this is. I'm gonna take this time to say this is the people I feel sorry for. I feel sorry for niggas in our city who put in work for a neighborhood yeah. that is gone, tore down. That the niggas don't write them, send them no money. You know what I'm saying? Because mm. I know for a fact I've heard stories. I know for a fact it's some good men. They got 60 years. You know what I'm saying? They was mm. young. They were younger than Takashi. They were 16, 17. They thought that, you know, going to the go-go and protecting my hood was the number one priority it for them. Was, you feel what I'm saying? And and, and 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 that shit cost these young men their lives. And they were too young to understand that these niggas ain't real. These same niggas you was riding for, probably out here sticking dick in your baby mother. You feel what I'm saying? Facts. Not That's not not helping facts. your kids, not helping your mother, not helping you. You feel what I'm saying? Those are the men that I feel sorry for because you know what? They weren't 22, 23, 24. You know what I'm saying? They were 16, 17 years old, and and all they knew was Berry Farms, or all they knew was Sir yeah. Quarters, and now Sir Quarters is gone. Very farms Facts. is gone. So now let's say you did your time like a man. You stood up come on home. all ten toes. You come home. What neighborhood you coming home to? That's a fact. I mean, it's all for nothing. It is. It is all for nothing. So it's like you know, yeah, man. It's like you know, you. you that's man. That's a tough. That's a tough subject right there, man. You know, that's like either way. That's 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 fucked up all around the board. I mean, you know, and that's why, you know, 
we got to start, you know, uh, promoting like, you know, positivity and, and, and giving people choices that, you know, and look, even when it comes to like some of this shit, like, look, you don't have to be a rapper, son. Like, like don't, man. you don't have to do none of this extra don't, shit. Man. Like if you want, like you, you got, and this is really what, it, what you're doing it for. Like, especially like if you're doing it for the attention, you know what I'm saying? I don't see how that, that to me, you don't really want it for real, for real. What you want is the attention. You know what I'm saying? You don't really want to be a rapper. You know what I'm saying? Right. Same thing. Like, you know, when it comes to the girls modeling and shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, Man. you know, you like the likes and shit, but it's like, uh, do you want a model? You know what I'm saying? Do you want to grind it out and go out to fucking California with no money? You know what I'm saying? Just to get on a goddamn, you know what I'm saying? Billboard. You want to do all of that? Or they do you sell just want pussy? <laughs> yeah, I mean, hey, you know what I'm like, saying? Nah, let me stop, man. Hey, look, yeah, that bring it to a whole nother subject. You yeah, know what I'm saying? This... It, 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 and that, that's it in a nutshell, man. It's like yeah. you know how serious are you? That's why I, back to the beginning, it started with doing the music, and I wanted to segue to something else. I do, I'm, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm throwing my hat fully in this comedy shit. It's some things that me, and my team have got cooking up for this comedy shit that when people see it, I'm like, damn. You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck? Hey, so, hey, I remember y'all was, I seen one joint that I think you had posted on your page or somebody that, like, it was, um, it was like a, a, a comedy battle. Did it, was that, was that you that ran that joint? A-pop, yeah. All right. So this is what happened. That you shit, know what I'm look, saying? I, I ain't even know that this shit. A, I went back is, and looked. It was this hilarious. A, this a throwback. Yeah, man. So 2000, I think this was top of 2017. A pop versus Mike the Fool. It was just an idea. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, it right. Ne- I don't, I'm not saying it never been done before, whatever, whatever. I don't know. But I know that I had an idea. And what I saw on Twitter, I seen Mike was doing this thing. I seen A pop was doing this thing. I said, damn, we should just have these niggas. Cause all Mike do is hot box and Joan. Him and uh shout out Almighty Geo. That's <laughs> yeah, all they do. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, this would be perfect to have this in a live set. And so we did showcase. And then after the rappers rap. We literally let these niggas go at it. Loso was dead, Fuss was dead, Goofies yeah. was dead. Yeah. Um, Almighty Geo, everybody. Um, if I forget you, my bad. But it was like, oh, uh, Fat Croft. Shout out Fat Croft, man. You know what I'm saying? It was like, damn near every comedian I didn't know at the time. You know what I'm saying? I only knew those two, and I met all of these guys that night. And then what happened was, the night was cool. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't even though I'm not even about to hype it. It wasn't one of the best events, like. As far as like the turnout, but what happened after we couldn't have predicted, you know what I'm saying? Like the shit went viral, like it went crazy on Twitter because I guess people thought I was trolling. They didn't think it was a real event. We made <laughs> flyers and everything, and then once they was like, Oh, this shit is real, and then the retweets, oh, and I'm looking yeah. at the impressions and shit, and like a million impressions, and da 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 da. So, you know what I'm saying? Me and uh APAP had got him on the phone, we had a conversation or whatever, and then he was like, man, we're going to bring that joint back. So eventually when everything falls in place, because I think home's going to California or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully we can get that back out because all I'm about is providing opportunities. I don't have, like I keep telling niggas, when it comes to business, I can't have beef with nobody. You feel uh, what I'm saying? Yeah, that's Only a fact. beef I can have with that's somebody is if it's in the streets. You feel what I'm saying? Like if we can find a way to do something positive and get money together, right. you know what I'm saying? If if nobody died on your end, nobody died on my end, us as men can be able to yeah, yeah, we reconcile, can, we can, yeah, we talk can reconcile it out as men, right, exactly. come to an agreement, shake hands, and let's get this money. Because it's too much money out there. It's too much people need like people look up to some of these guys. So if, That's true. if we got it, like you said, because it's all about giving the kids something to do. And I noticed that these niggas have a huge high school following. Yeah, you man. I saying? seen a couple. They did and a couple of homecomings. Kids, that shit was incredible. We got to give the kids something positive to look forward to to do. So everybody don't think they got to be a rapper. You feel what I'm saying? Because yeah, if all you niggas is rapping, if a nigga get shot, who gonna do the surgery? You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, it, that's it, true. It, 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 you that's know, true. who gonna come fix who gonna fix a nigga car? You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, like who fact. gonna who yeah. gonna do the podcast? Who gonna like oh, you yeah. gotta have everybody don't gotta be a rapper, bro. That's a you fact. know what I'm saying? I was just talking about the nigga Joe Button. I'm like, I watched Joe Button go from pump pump it up to one of the best podcasters out there. That's a fact. You know what I'm that's saying? It's 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 it is it is other things that you could do. Some of y'all need to pick up the camera and be videographers. Some of y'all niggas need to be producers. Some of y'all need to be managers. Some of y'all need to be, you know what I'm saying, uh 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 Marketing Man, strategies exactly. or Some like of y'all that. on be, in the internet all day, like y'all need to be computer decoder. Yeah, you know, I need to be man. coders, man. Something like for man. real. That shit, man. It's, it's a lot of. Yeah. There's so many areas in which you could you could be you know you could showcase whatever it is that you find that you have a talent in, man. So that shit, 
That shit motherfucking real, man. Yeah. Uh, that shit, it's, man. It's, 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 it's too many people, you know, like, you, you gotta, everybody not gonna make it. But especially with music now, today, it was already, like, hitting the lottery. Now yeah. it's even it's it it's, still is. <laughs> I'm about to say it's it's almost like it's 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 even more dangerous because the it looks easier now. Yeah, yeah. Before you knew like, yeah. damn, I gotta get signed to a label right. in order to make right. it. Now right. you don't have to get signed to a label. You can do it yourself, but what's the chances of out of all of these millions and millions of people that rap across the world that mm. you gonna take off? You know what I'm saying? Same thing as hitting the fucking Powerball. Keep it a stack. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you could probably say it's a hundred thousand. It's a hundred thousand rappers out there right this now. Shit ain't the lottery. Least. Do you really want it? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Do you really want it? Are you really willing to put in the blood, sweat, and tears to make something of yourself? You know what I'm okay. saying? With Are you this? willing to do the music even if you don't make it? Yeah, and that's you know what and I'm saying. That's, like that's, that's the real thing. That's how I know I'm built for this shit. Right. Because win, yeah, yeah. lose, or draw, I'm all in for our people. You feel what I'm saying? Mm. I love this music. I love the comedy. I love my city. You mm. feel what I'm saying? So anything that Elway can do to further the city, I'm trying to help. I wouldn't be sitting here sitting down talking with you if I yeah. didn't care about you as a as a black entrepreneur that help whatever I can do, if I can bring viewers, if I can bring uh like you said, you met a lot of people that's been on your show from Yeah, from fucking with you. I so mean there it is. It's yeah. all about man, listen, man, however it can work. To network and build, it's about networking, man. It's man, about networking is key. And I and I tell you like this, like you know what I'm saying, like you know when people check that joint out, like if you go on to YouTube, you gonna see the catalog. Like it's, you know what I'm saying. I done had a lot of a lot of known niggas on my shit, Fuck and I'm gonna keep it a buck. It it was barely any of them. That's what G that. that. Fuck <laughs> that nigga. I done barely had any of them from me just reaching out, man. Like I'm gonna keep it a thousand. Ninety percent of this shit is just being like networking. I met Cuz. Oh, he he cousins with him. Oh, he fuck with him. You know what I'm saying? Bam, we get on the phone. Cool, chop it up. You know what I'm saying? All right, my man seen that I don't work with him, him, and him. All right, cool. He willing to have a discussion. You know what I'm saying? And then we talk it out. Now we chop. Now we cool. You know what I'm saying? Shout out uh, Drama Sets In, man. We got that joint coming, man. We got a... That's my dog, Yeah, man. man. Shout out Sticker, man. That was a great one, too, man. That man's hilarious, man. But yeah, dog, man. man. We got some things going on, man. So, all right. So, what you got... Uh, what you got coming up, man? Let 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 uh, the people know, man, before on, we get man, out of it. Live too. Uh, All right. Because this young lady saying they, I guess they got a time limit. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna go back live. All right, that's a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, live, yeah, do um, be having time limits and shit. Yeah, I ain't know that shit. Yeah, yeah, they do. I, I done tried to go on the forty six viewers. I like that. Yeah, your shit was jumping, All jumping, right, jump, well, jump. Go back live. Gotta pimp the game, but uh. <laughs> All right. So. What we cooking up next is um we trying to do a major comedy event in March, like a big comedy event. Uh, I've been on that girl J Cole line for a long time. I've been trying to work with her. I went to the Made in the DMV conference. I seen her in person. One of the most humble, humble fucking people that I've met. Mm. That has a celebrity status, whether you want to say social media celebrity. Yeah, nah, you she, call she's it. up. She's up. I've been watching her since then. I see all types of celebrities in her DM. I mean, I'm, I mean, her comment section and all of that. And I'm like, damn. So, like, meeting her, and she was just like, she's a real person. Shout out to that girl, J. Cole, man. I've mm, met people yeah. with lesser following, bigger ego. What? Yep. what? You know what I'm saying? I've I, I met him. This girl. This woman has over a million followers, all types of celebrities reposting her videos and all that. And she was so sweet, so humble. You know what I'm saying? We, I gave her to her the break. You know what I'm saying? She gave me who to contact to do it. So coming up in March, I haven't set the date yet. Um, we about to try to lock in a nice venue. I'm going to be able to have about 200 plus people. Right. You know what I'm I want this to be a major event. She's nominated for BET Social Media Award. I wish her the best with that. That's what's coming up next. You know what I'm saying? We're still going to do the, the music shit. We still got a show that's in the works. All the producers who follow and then unfollow because shit didn't happen, the instant gratification thing, <laughs> they're going to miss out because the Sizzle 808 Mafia, Sleep BSM, MDE, uh, Frenchie, that move is still going down, but it's going to be an actual show. It's not going mm-hmm. to just be, oh, we pick up producers. You're going to go through like boot camp and it's going to be other things oh, involved right, to okay. actually... Before they get down to, I can't give you too much, you know what I'm saying? But right, right, I'm right. just say it's gonna be a show, you know what I'm saying? I hope I ain't say too much with saying that, <laughs> but 
You know, so all the niggas, because people seen it, went viral, all these producers follow, and then I start watching niggas unfollow, unfollow, because people don't, they think that if if it don't happen immediately, it's not going to happen, and that's not true. It's a lot of things that need to happen behind the scenes, things that need to be in place to create a bigger opportunity for the people that's going to be involved. That's a fact. So everybody that stayed down, all the producers that still following, all the producers that still, you know what I'm saying, the shit is going down. Trust and believe, you know what I'm saying. They trying to, you know what I'm saying, b- b- between Sleep and Frenchie, they trying to get an 808 Mafia producer from the DMV, official 808 Mafia producer from the DMV area that's mm. locked in. You feel me? So it's like we, be on the lookout. we trying to create opportunities, man. You know what I'm saying? And people, you know, you could take it how you want. You know what I'm saying? Everything is not perfect. You know what I'm saying? Everything is not going to be... Oh, you perform at our event, you get signed tomorrow. It's not like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. When it, who is it like that? What would have been it? I don't, know. I don't been know what people expect when they come to, bro. I don't know. Like, bro, it's literally the shit that people complain to us about. You know what I'm saying? I don't understand what you thought was going to happen. Like, what are you, bro? It's like, I don't want to argue with a nigga over $10, man. Like, yeah, it's $10 at the door, bro. You know what I'm saying? And, and a nigga will give you the blues, like, I owe you more for ten dollars, bro. If you go to the weed man, you give him ten dollars, you're gonna get a gram. <laughs> what the fuck? It's a gram, bro. Smoke your gram. That's a fact, man. That's a fact, man. People like, like, you know, people just gotta understand that this nothing worth anything is gonna come easy. I you know you, what I'm saying? Bro. Nothing worth anything is gonna come easy. So, my man Elway, man, I appreciate you coming through, bro. This yeah, shit man. was fucking lit, man. And y'all make sure y'all go on www. DMV Speaks, y'all could go ahead. Y'all be able to check out Elway's interview within a couple weeks. Yeah. Um, you know what I'm saying? We got the, um, we on Apple Podcast now. Shout out to that. We on YouTube. Yeah. So if you want to watch the video, make sure y'all do that. Y'all sub, man. Y'all yeah. sub. We yeah. got all this shit right. See, this is professional. You see hey, it? look, I'm trying. I'm working yeah. on it. You know what I'm saying? I'm working it's on it. Y'all subscribe same and all of that. name. <laughs> this is key right here. Yeah. Same name on all platforms. Make yourself easy to find, man. So people don't got to, you know, be all trying to find you on different Make it simple, man. Go, man. go subscribe to that, man. Too, hey, man. I appreciate you, man. We're going to have to yeah. have you back on. Y'all be on the lookout hey, for Elway, before brother. Before I go, can I shout out my sons, man? man? do your thing. Let do me shout thing. out all my sons who be on my fucking dick. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> shout out to all my sons that be dick riding and, and, and wave riding. Shout out to y'all, man. Because it's niggas who literally, bro, I've watched niggas watch my shit and still everything i don't even block these niggas my i love these niggas they my sons my i produce these niggas you know what i'm saying they they mothers is my women man you know what i'm saying like i made these niggas bro i literally laid down and made these niggas bro but now nah, no bullshit like because i see shit and it's like damn you know what i'm saying like but it's good for the people that i that i fuck with because it's like damn i want to see the people that i fuck with win no matter what but it's like it's yeah, niggas out yeah, here who yeah. really be hating and they be like trying, they got their surfboard ready. I ain't know so many black men could surf. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I ain't never seen so many black surfers. They be on the waves now. Damn, but it's man. all good because like now it's just about the people, level people, up. Man. People trying to win, man. You know what I'm saying? They yeah. just they they just don't want to win on their own effort. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, yeah. but the, the, the good thing is this, yeah. man. If you if you you can you can ride the wave now, you know what I'm saying? Cause it's just a little regular wave, you know what I'm saying? But when the when the tsunami come. You can't ride that, bro. You know what I'm saying? We're going to wash everything ashore. It's all good, man. Niggas going to say Elway change, bro. Hey, <laughs> and that's the, that's the they sad They going to say part. Elway change, bro. And wrong. I was a real nigga from day one. I be telling niggas to pop out. You can holler at me. You can DM me. You can, well, don't DM me because my DM is starting to get crazy. But you want to holler at me. Come out to an event. You can holler at me in person. I'm an approachable dude. I'm not no Hollywood nigga. I'm not no, I'm a regular nigga. You feel what I'm saying? You can talk to me. I will give you my number. We can bust it up. All mm. that. You know what I'm saying? But it's I'm all for network and I'm all for but that tsunami, bro, is coming, Snum. You know what I'm saying? Like this shit gonna be uh, of a of a higher caliber. You know what I'm saying? And, and yeah. after that, it, y'all 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 can have the little shit. You can have this little shit right here because <laughs> you know what I'm saying? A nigga, I would rather work with somebody than to like ride your wave. Man, look, man, like it's, it's just about being your own man. Man, be your own man, man. That's the that's the that's the more. It of the hurts story. the nigga hard to say, hey, I admire you, man. I like what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? Salute, man, bro. Let's do something together. Why does that hurt somebody hard to say that? You know what I'm saying? It's, it's the a- rejection shit. I think I think it's like like people be afraid to be rejected. You know what I'm saying? People and don't want to like them from sliding these bitches DMs head first. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Going kamikaze. You can get screenshotted <laughs> and all that ruin your whole relationship. You wanted to do that, but you're not willing to go to another man and say, hey, bro. Salute, man. I see what you're doing over there. Blah, 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 man. Let's do something together. 
Nah, that's real, man. It'd be better than doing that than just fucking sending a video on the DM. Because I see y'all. I see Instagram, bro. I see y'all shit, bro. I see your shit. I see it. I see your shit. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? What's up, man? Uh, you ain't, you ain't, I mean, you know, but you ain't really seeing until the sixth video they send in your DM. You know what I'm saying? After the sixth one, that's when you seen it. You know what I'm saying? That's how that shit go, man. Still it, man. Hey, look, man. I, I, I ain't gonna keep you out this motherfucker all night, man. Appreciate Elway for coming through, man. DMV speaks, man. We gonna holler at you. All right. All right.